Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the next 10 days. It is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy in the near future. We will clarify that and get you some oracle cards. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so let's see what we get for your astrology card for this period of time. Okay, so we have the fixed energy. Well, no kidding. I mean, we just had the full moon in Aquarius, which is a fixed sign. So of course, all the fixed signs were definitely affected. But you aside, um, not you aside, but them aside is what I meant to say. So this is representing stability, persistence, loyalty, and dependability. I feel like this might have to do with people who are in your life that might be showing up, who could also be fixed signs. They don't absolutely have to be. But I feel like this is not only a primary focus right now for you, but it's also what you realize, which all of us want, is those things in the people that we surround ourselves with. So it could be a time where you're starting to figure out who those people are. And it could be really, really clear to you over the next couple of weeks. So let's see what we get with tarot. What do we have for Sagittarius? Okay, so the overall energy, we have the Page of Cups in reverse. Some of you, um, there could be some ups and downs, maybe with a child or someone is acting childish around you, and this be, may be the reason why you're questioning whether some people are stable or not and whether you can depend on them. Okay, so that may just be the primary focus, not not the whole reading, but the primary focus is just people who might act a little bit like that, who are a little emotionally immature. And you may be putting your hand up like in that card and saying, you know, wait a minute, because I'm not really sure that I want to deal with this kind of immaturity or emotional immaturity. Let's see what your current energy is. Oh, okay. This makes sense. Perfect sense. In the recent past, you could have made a decision that you just, your peace of mind is so much more important than any other human could ever possibly, how they could be, how important they are, anything that somebody represents. We have people in our lives that are important. I get that. But I think right now, or at least during this period of time, for you, what's most important is to take a step back and just focus on being stable in that way. Like not only mental stability, mental health and feeling a sense of peace. So I feel like that's where you're headed or you just recently have decided this is what you need to do. Um, we have the Hierophant in reverse and then we have the Lovers in reverse. So some of you, there could be a little bit of a lost, lost hope around a love situation. Um, Maybe you've realized for some of you that you just are not going to focus on it. Uh, definitely, no doubt, there's been disappointments in pretty much everybody's lives in that area because we have so many important lessons to learn in this life. But there could be a little bit of a lack of, or there was just recently, of hope that something could work itself out. And again, it could be that the same thing. Maybe you couldn't rely on a person in a love situation. They didn't show up the way that you had expected them to. And you're realizing again that being clear-headed and being at peace and finding your own mental clarity and stability is what's most important for you right now. Let's look at, ooh, okay. They wanted to flip that card around. Okay, so the Nine of Cups. Yeah, because this is what's going to bring you the most fulfillment, at least the most emotional fulfillment at this point. Now, lovers doesn't always have to be about a romantic relationship. It can just be anybody that you love in your life. At least that's how I can read it at times. And yes, we can have moments where we have, you know, not so much faith in humanity. And I get it. It's a little frustrating. You know, we understand that people are going to cross our paths and some people have to go and some will stay. It doesn't make it hurt any less. But what's most important is that we do find our own peace. And I think this is, I keep drilling this in. It's like, it's really important for you to get to a place where you only 
participate in situations the best that you can. I mean, there are some that we're just kind of forced to have to deal with in work situations. But I think right now it's just like filling your own cup up and just being happy is the greatest thing you could do for yourself. So the seven of cups, yeah. Hey, listen, when there's not so many obstacles there, you certainly can find much more joy. Under that, we have the strength in reverse. Because you realize when you, if the seven of cups were in the upright, I'd say sometimes you put your energy in so many different places because you love like so differently. Every sign loves differently, but Sagittarius, I mean, you would give the shirt off your back to everybody that crosses your path. And sometimes it spreads you a little thin. And I think right now you're realizing that you've got to fill back up your own cups and get back to a place where you're feeling emotionally fulfilled. Because there's been a period of time where you were going in so many different directions and giving emotionally, right? It doesn't have to be physically giving somebody something. It's just giving of yourself emotionally. And that could be in your own time because you're still emotionally focused on someone. So it's energy, right? And that can be exhausting. If somebody's living rent-free in your head, they need not stay. They need to be evicted at this point because I feel like it's wearing on your energy. All right, so the near future, we have the King of Pentacles. And it's the same thing we were talking about. What's important is having people around you that don't throw one, throw you off your game, and two, that also have the same stability, the mental stability, the just any kind of stability that you create when you're in other people's lives. So in the near future, I just think anyone who doesn't represent that for you isn't going to be able to stay. It could be someone specific, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And maybe you're just realizing that they aren't, as stable as you thought they were. Let's keep going because I want to get more on this person. Temperance. <laughs> okay. Sorry to giggle at you, but this is your card and you know what happens. You don't... Listen, we all have a moment when we snap. And I think you've, you're you going to lose your patience with somebody. Because if they are not showing up and what your main energy focus is, is stability and dependability, then whoever this may be for you, it could be anyone in your life, you're going to lose patience for this person. Where before you may have been in the energy of, yeah, you know, I've got my, my toe dipped in and I'll still give them a chance, but I'm sort of moving forward, but I'm not 100% sure. No, but you're like, no, nah, I have zero patience for this. You know what? Anymore, shit, whatever you want to call it. Could be family because we've got the four of wands here. Um, could it have been somebody that you experienced in your life in the past that taught you a lesson, it could have been a partner that you are having this epiphany moment about at this point. And you're like, I was married to somebody like this before and I know I don't want that. So whatever didn't work out in your relationship or in a marriage or any kind of partnership or with even the family, I, I think this is that time where you might snap. You might decide that this is just it. Like I need harmony. I need peace and joy and togetherness and trust that things are going to come together in a, in a great way because that's what you offer. And yeah, some people don't have the ability to do the same. Let's see what the challenge might be for you. So we have the moon in reverse. Not having clarity about something would be a challenge. That's for sure. If it were in the upright, I'd say, yeah, being in the dark is not fun, but it's challenging Sometimes even when something is laid right in front of you and is made clear to you, sometimes it's shocking. So in this case, when the moon is in reverse, it's revealing something to you. So the challenge may be that maybe the perception you had of certain people in your life has so drastically changed and it's a little bit of a hard pill to swallow. All right, so let's take a look. And I don't know if I said that they've changed. Maybe you're just, that's not really what I wanted to say. And I'm feeling the need to correct that. It's becoming more obvious to you that there are some people in your life that are not what maybe you had thought or hoped. And sometimes we hold out hope for a long period of time until we just can't any longer. All right. So let's keep going. We're going to clarify the fixed astrology card. We have the King of Swords. There are people around you 
I'm going to say there's somebody specific who's very clear about how they feel and what they represent. This could be a boss that's really like to the point, doesn't play games and doesn't challenge you. This could also be somebody else in your life that shows up. It could be someone new who gets right to the point. You don't have to play games with them either. They're just straightforward. And that's something I think you appreciate. So look out for that energy, wherever that is represented in your life, the world. Something about this particular person never changes. Like you don't have to worry. So it could be somebody that's been in your life for a long time or someone you're about to meet. And the world in reverse just tells me that it's not like this person will be just one part of a cycle. It's like there's someone that sticks around for a long period of time. And they're straightforward. They don't play games. And then we have the three of pentacles. So it's a, it feels like work. So it may be someone that you trust at, in a work environment that you know is never going to BS you. And it's comforting. So that's a good thing because that is someone you can rely on. It could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And, and of course, Aquarius is a fixed sign. So with the Page of Cups in reverse, whoever's emotionally unstable or if there is a child there's something that needed to be revealed right that's what the hermit's doing in this particular card he's got the light shown over this snake so there's two things that happen here there's something that could be revealed about another person and you're like nope this is something i can't trust and the other is usually that you're shedding some version of yourself that's what we do when we gain wisdom when we learn something new or when we're just at an astrological pivot in our experience, something changes. And I think that's what's happening here. I think you've been going through this change for a while where you're shedding some version of yourself. It's one thing to be really open and loving and giving to a lot of people. It's another thing to spread yourself completely thin. And I think you're, you're really starting to recognize that you just can't move that way anymore. All right. So the six of swords and the hierophant in reverse Ace of Swords. So if there has been a moment where there wasn't any clarity about a situation, you're getting it. And you're definitely, again, moving to a much more peaceful place. So things are going to start getting clearer. You got clear. Remember, in the challenge, we talked about the moon in reverse. So something could have come to your attention or been made very clear to you, which helped you make a decision to say, like, I'm putting up the peace sign, like, peace out. No, my peace of mind is 10 times more important to me than any person. And then we have the Ace of Wands. Great. Because when you make space, that's when new things come in. You, two Aces in a row. I mean, you don't get much better than that. It's like a fresh start. Some part of you is getting fired up again. It doesn't have to necessarily be focused on love, but it could be that you're starting to feel good about yourself, right? You're giving yourself more emotional attention and less to other people. And something is really getting clear about what you need to do in order to feel better, in order for you to feel more fulfilled. So that's good. Something might have, you know, fire might have been lit underneath your rear end. All right, so the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Cups in reverse. We have the Page of Wands in reverse. I think you already had a new perspective on things. Um, sometimes things aren't always made perfectly clear, right? With the Page of Wands, it can be a lot of different meanings. It's just how I read this particular card. It, as seeing something from a new perspective. I think you've already seen it. And I don't think, I think what you realize is that you can't help other people see things the way that you do. Other, other people aren't going to get it the way that you do, right? How you always find joy in most situations, how you know what you need, you know what you need, even if you do spread yourself thin, um, excuse me, a little sneeze. It doesn't mean that you don't, you don't get it. I just think other people have a hard time really seeing it. Maybe at times they haven't seen what you bring to the table or appreciated it. And that's what's so exhausting. It's con constantly trying to have people understand things that they just don't seem to get. And then the four of swords. So yeah, I think you're going to think things through before you make any moves or take any steps or do anything that's going to be really significant right now. I think you're just going to kind of sit back, be happy, be fulfilled, work on you and think things through before you move. 
That's a good thing. The King of Pentacles with the Temperance in Reverse. We have Judgment. Yeah, we'll see. That's when a decision's been made. It's like, you can't avoid it. When the universe is going to try to come in and cut something out of your life, if you're still dipping your toe back and forth into an energy, they'll just come in and say, mm, no, we're going to do something that's going to make this like final so that you don't keep going back into this same situation. All right, let's see what the Four of Wands we have. The, yeah, okay. So there could have been a toxic home situation or... Um, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn, but it will no longer be a problem. Okay, there's going to be something is going to be restored. And this is it's interesting because that's Capricorn energy. And I said this could have been a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo. So again, whoever that may represent in your life, uh, no doubt something is changing. So if there was some toxicity there, bear with me, guys. I don't know what's going on. I don't have allergies. <laughs> then that's, there's a decision that's been made. And if you don't make it, they will for you. And you know who I'm referring to when I say they, spirit. All right, so the information that's been made very clear to you, or at least exposed to you, the three of wands. Uh, some of you, it's hard to see how things are going to work themselves out. The three of wands is usually waiting to see how things are going to work out. This is making it very clear how something is maybe not. And maybe you've been waiting for things to change for a period of time. And I'm going to say specifically with a person. And you're just realizing that, no, the challenge has been, I've been waiting all this time for something to change and it's just not changing. Okay, so we are going to actually, oh, I know what I forgot to do in the last reading. I forgot to get the other advice card. Sorry, just a little saying out loud thought because I was wondering why the Leo reading went by so quickly. Okay, let's get the advice for you. Let's see advice for Sag. Queen of Wands, be in your own energy. Get excited. Like there's something getting fired up about you. They want you to appreciate, like really love on yourself at this time because that's some confidence that's coming in. Four of Swords. Don't ever think it. Don't be so worried. If you feel confident about something, give yourself that pat on the back and don't second guess yourself. This is your time to shine. You're going to be pulling in the right types of energies, different types of energies, because it seems like you're moving away from ones that have been a little bit more draining and difficult. And they just want you to soar. The 10 of swords is being really done with something, turning your back on it. It doesn't always, this card doesn't show it the same way the others do, where there's the, the swords in the back and betrayal. This can just be literally turning your back and looking forward and saying, I know all those things have happened, but I'm choosing to focus on what is going on moving forward, not the past. The two of wands and not focusing too much on too far in the future either is what they're asking you to do. It's great to daydream, but where we want to be living is right here. And this is feeling like much better energy for you is to be in this present moment. And then we have the ace of swords in reverse. Um, not everything has to be made clear about what's going to happen in the future. Hardest lesson to learn being here, especially at this time when we're all being expected to live in this age of Aquarius, Pluto and Aquarius as well, where everything's just kind of like, okay, it happens when it happens. I'm just going to trust the universe where before we were all used to moving at a pace like this is the plan. This is how it's going to turn out. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. We're not in that anymore. So they're just asking you to work on getting really comfortable with not knowing where the future is going to take you. To, to be excited about the unknown. Easier said than done, right? All right, let's get a couple of cards from the other Oracle deck. What is their advice? We seek your destiny. Okay, if you're feeling pushed in a new direction and there's some new destiny you feel pulled towards... Great, definitely continue to seek that. Time to reflect, we know that as well. Um, show that you care to the people that matter and then observe in silence. That's always a great place to be when you're observing things without necessarily speaking on them. All right, let's get the lover's oracle. Let's see what we have. So we have new beginning. Love it. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. That's exciting. 
It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself everything we've been talking about. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. That can be in any relationship, but that's if it's worth putting the energy into. But if you find yourself in this space with somebody over the next couple of weeks, it's all of these planetary like squares and just difficult placements we've had. Yes, Mercury retrograde, but it was an extra specially difficult one. So there could have been some bickering and things said that you didn't mean to say. But I would say, you know, just be aware that that isn't going to get you somewhere. You know, just take a moment and say, do I really want to say this? And then passion and magnetic and seductive qualities around you at present. Enjoy it, clearly, with the Queen of Wands. We're going to get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so they're asking you to go the distance. You could be 47, born on the 4th, the 7th, or the 11th of the month. This is like, you know, don't give up right when you're about to have that massive breakthrough. Especially if you feel like something's coming and you just know it. You can feel it in your energy. We have exchanging gifts. There's a couple of things I get from this card. So you could be 27, born on the 27th, the 2nd, the 7th, or the 9th. This can be exchanging love like you do with an animal. It's so unconditional. And that's what spirit's always about, right? It's unconditional love. But really being excited. And it could be about gifts as well. Maybe there's something coming up for you where you're giving or receiving gifts. And it just feels really nice. I'll be honest. It feels really nice. So be open to that. And then we have fork in the road. Yeah, there could be for some of you. So you could be born on the 13th, the 1st, the 3rd, or the 4th. And we know what the fork in the road is, right? We have choices in life. You have a set path when you come here, but you definitely have your free will. Uh, there are some things that aren't going to change. They are going to happen in this experience. But this fork could be, do I really want to go this way or do I really want to go this way? And you still learn or experience the same things. It doesn't feel like a massive fork in the road. For some of you, it may be. Like, is this going to the choices that I'm going to be making right now really going to change things drastically? And I want to make sure that I definitely choose correctly. When we've had choices that we've made in the past that we don't feel really great about, sometimes that fork in the road could be a little difficult. So sometimes we second guess ourselves. I wouldn't though, because you always learn something valuable. All right, and then this is going to be your energy, poise, the best place you can be, always. And by the way, I just want to say, this is how other people see you as always being poised. So if there's any question that other people can see anything that you don't feel great about, don't be. Because they really can't see past the amazing energy that you have. So you could be 48, born on the 4th, the 8th, or the 12th of the month. Okay, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. Please hit that like button and leave me a comment. And again, if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Hope you guys have an amazing 10 days and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.